Sa video na ito, ituturo ko sa inyo how to receive your GCash and PIN at ang two possible scenario na pwede nyo ma-encounter while trying to recover your GCash and PIN at mga possible solution nito just in case hindi ito gumagana. Gusto mo ba matutunan ang lahat ng method na ito? If yes, panoorin ang buong video para matutunan mo paano mag-receive ng GCash and PIN. Let's go! So to receive your GCash and PIN, unang gagawin is buksan ng GCash app Tap for get MPIN, tapos makikita mo itong MPIN recovery notification. Kung saan sinasabi dito na magpapadala si Gcash ng 6-digit OTP code sa mobile number mo to receive your MPIN. So to receive this OTP, gawin mo lang is tap send code at mapupunta ka dito. At makakatanggap ka ng message galing kay Gcash. Kapag after 5 minutes, wala ka pa rin natanggap, click mo itong tap here to resend. And hopefully, may matatanggap ka ng message galing kay Gcash. Kapag may natanggap ka na, buksan mo ang message na iyon and memorize mo ang 6 digits OTP na binigay nila. Then balik ka dito and enter ninyo ang 6 digits OTP na binigay ni Gcash tulad ng ginawa ko. Then tap mo ang submit. After tapping submit, may dalawang possible scenario na pwede mangyari para ma-receive MPIN mo. Scenario 1, Gcash will ask you for face verification. Kung saan, they will scan your face tulad ng ganito. Siguraduhin lang na hindi madilim habang ginagawa mo ito na process para maiwasang mag-fail ang face verification. Dapat ito maliwanag tulad na nakikita mo sa screen at pagkatapos, Gcash will ask you to blink your eyes tulad nito and it will process. And if gumana, you will be asked to tap your new 4 digits and pin tulad nito and retype it to verify. Kapag okay na, tap submit at makikita mo itong notification na ito meaning successful pag receipt mo ng MPIN. Scenario 2 naman, kapag instead of face verification, magpapadala ulit si Gcash ng OTP this time sa email mo na nakalink with your Gcash. Ito na email, tulad ng nakikita mo sa screen. Kapag after 5 minutes naman wala ka natanggap, tap mo itong click here to resend, hopefully makakatanggap ka ulit ng panibagong OTP. Then susunod na gagawin ay to open the link Gcash Gmail. Once ma-open mo na tulad nito, hanapin mo ang no reply email at buksan. Tapos mapupunta ka dito. Kung saan makikita mo ang 6 digits OTP code, memorya mo ulit lahat yan. Bumalik ka dito, then enter your 6 digits OTP tulad ng ginawa ko. Then tap submit. At mapupunta ka ulit dito. Kung saan kagayahin mo lang ginawa natin kanina sa account recovery. And makakukuha ka rin ng parehas na resulta. Tanong, nakalimutan ko ang email ko or wala talaga akong natanggap na OTP sa email, ano po gagawin? Ano po gagawin? Kung ganun, tap this change method instead of submitting an OTP kung wala ka natanggap at mapupunta ka dito. Then tap this verify with account details at fill out mo lang mga hinihingi nila na information tulad ng ginawa ko. Then tap submit. At if na-answer mo ito lahat correctly, mapupunta ka ulit dito. Fill out mo lang bagong pin mo then submit and makakakuha ka rin ng parehas na resulta kanina. Tanong, Paano naman po if I will be asked to submit a ticket or na-encounter ko ng mga ganitong errors or wala akong natanggap na OTP at wala talagang gumagana? Kung ganun, let, let us use the Gcash ticketing method. So para mag-ticket, open ulit natin ang Gcash app, tap help center at napupunta ka dito. Gawin mo lang is tap chat with GG at napupunta ka sa messenger ni GG. Type po ang name ng Gcash account mo na may problem sa MPIN at tatanungin ka ni GG kung paano kanya pwede tulungan. Replyan mo lang create a ticket at makikita mo ito na reply ni GJ. Then tap submit a ticket. At agad-agad ka na mabupunta sa ticket section ni Gcash kung saan pwede ka maghingi ng tulong. Fill out mo lang mga details na hinihingi tulad ng ginawa ko. Then piliin mo lang kung anong country ka registered. For example, ako Pilipinas kaya pinili ko Philippines. Then dito naman sa mobile number, type mo lang yung Gcash number mo na may problema sa MPIN. Dito naman sa concern category, once i-click mo itong down arrow, mag appear ito. Scroll down ka lang at hanapin ang I can't log in to my Gcash app and it will reflect. Dito naman na part, tap mo ulit down arrow na ito and select kung anong error na encounter mo. So for just the sake of this tutorial, pipiliin ko ito na error. Huwag mo gayahin error statement ko, makakasight iba yung sayo. So, note, if ang error mo is different sa akin, pili mo yung error na na-encounter mo. Then, it will reflect. Dito naman sa account type, piliin mo kung anong account meron ka. So, since regular account yung akin, I will select regular account. Then, it will reflect. Dito naman sa concern, type mo lang gusto mo ipatulong kay Gcash. Tulad ng ginawa ko. Note, pwede kayo mag-Tagalog if hindi kayo comfortable mag-Ingles. 
Pagkatapos, i-check mo itong dalawang box tulad ng ginawa ko. And pwede ka din mag-attach ng screenshot dito para mas matulungan ka ni Gcash. Tapos, pag nakapag-attach ka na, by tapping this add file or tab file here, tap mo na submit. At napupunta ka dito at makakatanggap ka email galing kay Gcash. Buksan mo lang email mo at hanapin ang Gcash Help Center na email, then buksan mo. At makakareceive ka ng response galing kay Gcash tulad nito. Kung hindi ka satisfied sa reply ni Gcash at hindi nakatulong response nila, let us proceed to the last step. Call the Gcash Customer Service. Kapag globe at PM number mo, pwede mo sila tawagan by dialing 2882 kung saan libre ang pagtawag. Pero kung other network naman like Smart, Sun, dito, call them using this number. Note, may bayad pala pagtawag dito na number. Dapat regular load. At 9 lang sila ng umaga hanggang 5 ng hapon pwede tawagan. Pag tumawag ka na masyadong umaga or masyadong late, wala nang sasagot sa tawag mo. Important reminder pala, kailangan mo mag-take note sa ticket number na nakikita mo sa email mo nung nag-ticket ka para matulungan ka ni Gcash Customer Service. Note, if nahihirapan ka sa pagtawag sa kanila kasi always busy sila, watch this demo until the end. Papakita ko paano at ano yung gagawin mo para makausap mo talaga ang Gcash Customer Service. So do not skip any part. Watch it. Hi, thank you for calling Gcash. In order to help with your concern, we'll be asking for your personal information. If you agree, press 1. If you don't agree, press 2. We are currently experiencing more calls as of this moment. If you need to follow up on an existing ticket, chat with GG in the Gcash app. Visit help.gcash.com for quick answers to your questions. PayPal cash in in the Gcash app is currently unavailable. Our partner is working on restoring the service as soon as possible. For Gcash login issues, press 1. From Gcash transactions concerns, press 2. For card concerns, press 3. For partner support, press 4. To repeat the options, press 6. For other concerns, you may visit our help center or talk to gg at help.gcash.com. Or you may stay on the line to speak to an agent. Please note that we are receiving more calls than usual. You may need to wait for the next available agent to be served. Thank you for deciding to wait. If you are to report a fraud-related concern, press 1. For other concerns, press 2. Please be ready with your transaction details. We will now redirect you to a customer support agent. <laughs> Thank you for calling. This is Lena Pagsikas. May I have your name, please? For me to address your property. Good afternoon po. Hello po. Natulungan ka ba ng tutorial na ito? Kung oo, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Yun lang. See you in my next video. Let's go!